it doesn't matter as much for this first sample, but if there's any capsule, I typically will remove it so that the sample doesn't float irregularly in the preservative. This one looks pretty free of any fat to trim, but had there been any fat on this capsule side, I would have separated it from the sample and then lifted this off of the tongue depressor and then into the formalin in its entirety. There you go. So here we are now with the second pass of the biopsy, which we'll be dividing between the different preservatives for light microscopy, immunofluorescence, and electron microscopy. Again, I'm remembering which side of the sample is cortical or superficial and which side is deep or medulla. The cortical side is, cortex side is closer to me and the deeper side is away from me. Again, this sample has virtually no fat on it, but were there any fat, I would trim it away. What we'll be doing is we'll be taking this sample and dividing it into four equal halves, or quarters rather. First in half, and then each of the halves in half. So I'm gonna deal with the, the two inner quarters first. The one that is closer to the cortex or superficial side, I'm going to be putting into the immunofluorescence preservative. It's in. And now the more deep portion of the inner quarters we'll be putting into the glutaraldehyde. lift up. Sometimes you have to cut again if you didn't quite cut it right. Good. The innermost and outermost quarters will also go into the light microscopy. And we're done.